consider public gardens a real gift. And actually I find that even though I have my own garden, which maybe you do too, coming to public parks or woods can offer things that we can't always achieve in our own backyards. Obviously, any garden offers real beauty, just being in nature, and also takes care of our sense of smell, just because of all the fragrances, and even our sense of touch, because we're outside, it's breezy, it's sunny. But in the case of where we are today, it also offers things like waterfalls, which we can't necessarily have in our own backyard, but it's just lovely to be able to hear those waterfalls, and it has a very cleansing feeling to it. Nearly every city in America has a public park, and easily found through departments of parks and recreation. Whenever I've been in a large city, whether it be London, New York, or even Los Angeles here, I've always sought out public parks, public places that have nature all around me, where I can just find that little quiet bench to sit on and just reflect and just really enjoy everything that these wonderful parks do have to offer. Whether large or small, public parks supply the enjoyment of nature's beauty with many benefits. They can encourage ideas for a future garden. I find that parks can be a wonderful place for inspiration, whether it be people that I just come across that I can talk to that have a like-minded thoughts as to why they're here to begin with, or also just to see how landscaping is done in a public place, in the case here of a lovely gravel pathway, how bricks are used, how stonework is used. What I really love about this particular spot, and what I find so inspiring, because it is about meditating in peace is seeing all these little nooks and crannies of where little benches are, little quiet peaceful sitting areas are. So all of those things if I have my mind open to I can see them all and even bring in little things back home with me to enjoy. Public parks also may serve as a place to de-stress or simply escape. <laughs>